Yeah, we've done heaps of these before. Let's see if we can make this one turn up nicely. Gonna leave out the hue, but we're taking out some of the red and see what happens. Something different. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here what's called the Mossman Daily. I call it the Snorty Magazine. So we're just going to photocopy this front cover of our snooty magazine. The scanner keeps making <laughs> sounds. Yeah, that's really, that taking out the red looks like it's actually increased the red, strangely enough. Made it look flat, made that look more red. I don't understand how that works, folks. I really don't know how that feature actually works. Uh, I don't like what I've done, even though I like the shape of it. I do think we can still use it. I think we can still use it. Um, maybe I can do another one, perhaps try another one. Well, it was worth a try, seeing how that worked. Uh, I don't know why it does that, why it did that. Now we're just going to switch over to this. I'm just going to get back in here. I'm going to kill off the brightness. And we're just going to have the regular copy density. But yeah, I didn't like that. That looks ugly. Looks really looks too contrasty. Like the colours are just too harsh and strident. But then that's a harsh and strident original as well. So maybe it's the original for all we know. Partly. Yeah, that still looks quite strident, uh, the colour, the colour of that jacket looks really not as harsh as this version, but I do like the, um, which one will I use? I think this one looks nice. I do like the greenery, however, that's the part I like. Um, I do think maybe we could utilise this one, make that perhaps the centre of our job, even though it's a void. Uh, just going to throw this in the recycle um, we're just going to enlarge on the horizontal and a little bit on the vertical just a tad So yeah, Mossman Daily, Snorty Magazine. I don't feel like I belong to this community. I'm not a community-minded person, folks. I don't hang out with the local. I do, hang, I do have a community and I talk to people, but I don't actually feel like I belong, like it's really my community, that it's just a temporary community until I get in touch with my partner, Luigi. Because, you know, you go to the shops, you have a coffee, you know, you're, inter you're interacting with people all the time. 
and basically that's pretty much how I see it. Uh, that looks really quite interesting. I think we've made it too hor long on the um, horizontal. I think the horizontal, not the vertical. The horizontal, yeah. So yeah, I just don't feel like this is really my home. I don't feel at home here. I feel very lonely, very desolate, away from my partner. And I just need the TV channels to somehow cooperate with me and get this shit to go up. Because I am getting very lonely and very sad and it makes me depressed, folks. Anxious, depressed. At times I, feel, I get panic attacks. You get those every now and then when something goes wrong and you're on your own and you haven't got anyone to keep you company while it's happening. I really wish to be partnered with my partner Luigi instead of being alone here feeling like even as I said even with other people I do in so many words I do feel lonely you know the community doesn't give me any sense of comfort I don't feel comfort from community community just community it's just emptiness I just need one person in my life and that's him I don't need gaggles of friends I don't need a fucking I don't need to hang out at a club and do clubby community type things or volunteer. I'm not interested in that shit. I just want to find Luigi. I know my dad would like me to, to volunteer. My dad would like me to join a club, make friends, hang out. But he's an asshole. He doesn't know my story. He's a dick. He wants me to be normal and I hate his guts. He's a bully and a teaser. Uh, he's ruined. He's made my life more difficult by throwing me out of his house, by locking me out. He's changed the locks on me one afternoon. The guy was always provoking me into a rage. It wasn't my fault, his fault. And he just kept teasing and bullying and picking on me and I got angry. I took the bait. And this is what I have to pay, folks, for taking the bait. But enough of that. that that's come up looking quite interesting. I do wonder, are we going to do a switcheroo with this one? But yeah, we just I just feel, you know, I took the bait from my father and he just locked me out and I lost. So, never since then I've just felt down and depressed that my father could do such a horrible thing like that. You know, he made me, he took away my cheeriness. He fucked up, fucked me over. He played with my head. What a fucktard. I hate him, folks. I hate my dad. He's a tough shitter. He thinks he can sing. He thinks he can. He's a great philosopher because he goes to philosophy classes. Bullshit. He's an idiot. Enough of that, folks. Again, that's come up even better. I think we can now call this demo quits.